Hey there everyone, it's Jenna. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are gonna head into Home Goods because right now is actually a great time to buy fall decor because they are freshly stocked and the pandemonium hasn't really hit yet. So it's a really good time to find those high-end fall decorating pieces. So I'm gonna take you through the store with me and show you some of the fall decor that I typically gravitate towards just to give your space that elevated designer look. But I'm also gonna give you a ton of season neutral styling tips and decorating ideas as well so should be a really fun video and yeah let's head in there and start shopping okay so here we are at home goods and two of the go-to autumn decor pieces are obviously pumpkins and florals so i love it when we can combine both of them and i actually showed you all how i diy'd a pumpkin floral arrangement last year but if you're not feeling up for a diy and maybe want something of a smaller scale they do have a bunch of pumpkin floral arrangements for really reasonable prices these succulent ones actually gave me some inspiration to maybe try to do this with some real succulents this season. That could be a fun girls night or a family activity. And when picking out floral arrangements for my own space, something that gives off a more toned down designer feel is sourcing faux florals and stems that have more muted colors. As you can see, these orange pom-pom stems still have a gorgeous fall hue, but when you compare them to these vibrant reds and oranges, you can see that it's just a little bit more toned down and subtle, which is what I personally go for but it would be cute to buy several of these and use them to line maybe a dining table and then fill in with some candles for a really cozy tablescape. I also really love this burgundy arrangement in this rustic vase. I believe that this one is currently available online so I'll try to link what I can down below in the description box but I thought that these were really reasonable prices considering it includes all the stems and a vase. Something else I see tons of designers use in fall decorating are dried florals and dried florals are great because in a lot of cases you're actually using real preserved flowers so they just help to give off an authentic elevated feel and they're also usually relatively neutral so that's great for those of you who prefer a more muted color palette. I also really liked this arrangement for a more neutral look. I love how the vase has subtle terracotta tones bringing in that warmth for fall but it's not overpowering and this one I believe is currently available online also but you know if neutral isn't your thing they have a bunch of colorful and vibrant arrangements to choose from as well. Okay, so next my home goods literally had an entire aisle of pumpkins to choose from. So it can definitely be overwhelming when there's so many cute ones, but I always try to pick out pumpkins that have a natural finish or a subtle texture to them. I really liked this gauzy textured one. I think it also would look really nice if you mix natural textures when pairing pumpkins. So for example, this one would look really good paired with a wood one, just giving off that natural earthy feel, helping things to feel subtle yet festive. Another type of pumpkin that I always like to keep an eye out for are woven pumpkins. And woven decor in general is great for fall because it helps to add warmth and texture. And last year I found this woven pumpkin that I just popped a faux candle into, so it gave off a super cozy look at night. This one didn't have the opening, but you could keep an eye out for one. I also like to look for pumpkins that resemble real heirloom pumpkins. These are so versatile and they would look great layered on a front porch, on a mantle, or on a dining table. I love these faux ones because I think a lot of them look very realistic and you can use them year after year and you don't have to deal with rot, which is especially great if you live in a warmer climate. They have lots of shapes, sizes, and colors so you can easily mix and match if you're planning on doing a layered look. And faux heirloom pumpkins can honestly get pretty pricey at other stores and truly Home Goods is one of the cheapest places that I've seen them for great quality. Another thing that they have a ton of right now are hand-blown glass pumpkins. I think these are so cute and they would be such a unique handmade item to add to your fall decorating. They have a bunch of sizes and colors and because they're hand blown, no two are alike. So it's really fun to look through them. I thought that this one looked just like ocean waves, which is so unique and these would be perfect popped on a shelf or a countertop for a unique autumn accent. I also loved this antique glass pumpkin. This does have the option to light up at night and I just love the old world feel of it. It looks very similar to the anthropology one, but 
it's just double the size so it's a much better value and these would look so pretty popped on a mantle or a dining table just to give off that old world feel another thing i like to do when sourcing fall decor is look for shapes other than a pumpkin because the pumpkin is super prominent it's just nice to have other accent pieces to put next to pumpkins that provide some variety i love this little amber glass acorn candle it reminded me of the one that they sell at pottery barn just for a fraction of the price so speaking of amber glass that's another go-to item that i seek out during the fall season the warm tone of the glass is perfect for creating a warm cozy look and i think it especially looks really nice when you layer different shapes and sizes of amber glass together this just helps to create that collected vintagey feel which i love i also think it looks really pretty during the winter season as well with some evergreen stems popped in it and because the prices are pretty reasonable here for amber glass it's easy to make a little collection Collection. and I also spotted this cute amber glass pitcher that would be so perfect to layer into a tablescape maybe with a signature drink for a party or just some accessible water for guests okay so now we're gonna head on over and look at some season neutral decor and I spotted this gorgeous oversized string of glass beads and this is such an expensive looking piece especially considering pottery barn sells a super similar one for a hundred dollars while this one is only 30 and this is just a unique styling piece to add some extra visual interest to a space and here you can see it draped in a long wood bowl which would be so pretty on a mantle a console table or a dining table and next you all know that i love seeking out pieces that look to be old i loved this blanket ladder because the wood appeared to be distressed and aged which just really helps to add so much character and depth to a space blanket ladders are great affordable options to dress up a blank wall i have one in our guest bedroom and i love the casual rustic look it gives to the space another piece that i spotted that had that old world feel to it was this distressed wood vase now i've seen these same reclaimed wooden vases on designer sites for over a hundred dollars and i will say i did think fifty dollars was a little steep for this piece but it was very beautiful and i do have two of these vases that i have collected from actual antique stores and i love the collected feel that they give to our dining room so it's really cool that we can find them at home goods and i like how this one had the rope detail on it as well Okay, so here's a little flashback to when I spotted this Old World olive jar in my last styling new decor video for only $30. And I just love the statement that this makes on our kitchen island. So this time around when I spotted this smaller olive jar, I just thought it was so cute and would be so pretty to style next to the larger one for some repetition. Again, I just love the old antique look this gives to a space. And I've seen a lot of these at Home Goods in my area lately. So keep an eye out at yours because they seem to be selling them all over the place. I also loved this rustic vase. I believe that these are handmade in Tunisia using a burning technique, which is super cool. And I actually have a larger one that I found at Home Goods a while back. And I just love the rustic feel that it gives to our living space. Something else that I found that I thought was really unique and gave off a designer feel was this branch decor. And I've seen a really similar one on West Elm and it's one of their best sellers. And I just love that this helps to give off a skull sculptural feel so kind of like art but it's a natural material and naturally occurring in the earth so it just helps to give off a more laid back earthy feel and typically when scanning this decorative accents area in home goods most of it is just aesthetic decor to help enhance your space but it's really nice when we can find pretty pieces that are also functional pieces and i loved these faux bone boxes they look really similar to the ones sold at pottery barn for hundreds of dollars while these were only 25 for the medium size and 30 for the large and these are great for storing away unsightly things like cards remotes and craft supplies Another great thing to buy at Home Goods are these thick woven trays. And these are great to have on hand for entertaining or grouping together decor. And these are also great for the fall season because the woven texture adds warmth to a space. And these just look a lot more expensive than they are. And these would be pretty to maybe put at the end of a bed in a guest bedroom with some supplies, or this long one would be nice on a mantle or a dining table. 
Something else that I spotted were these tortoise shell martini glasses. And tortoise shell is really big right now. I see lots of designer sites selling similar pieces. They did have a ton of tortoise shell things at Home Goods. I did see some cute soap dispensers that I didn't get footage of, but they'd be perfect for fall. Another amazing find that I spotted were these Burlwood nesting tables. And I've seen these on multiple designer sites for over $2,000, while the large one was 100 and the smaller one was 80. I also liked that you had the option to purchase them individually because even though the nesting look helps to add visual interest and depth to a space they would look really nice on their own as well Another material that gives off that expensive designer feel is marble. And right now, Home Goods has so many marble top furniture pieces. I loved this one with the iron legs and how they were kind of organic shaped, giving off a handmade feel. And something else that looks really nice is the combination of wood and marble. So when you can find pieces that have that combo, you can usually guarantee that they're going to elevate the look of your space. I also love when furniture has some type of hidden storage like this piece, so not only is it pretty but it's practical as well and another stone that's really big right now in the design world is travertine this modern travertine top side table reminded me a lot of something that you would see sold at cb2 just for a fraction of the price all right everyone that about wraps up this video i hope you enjoyed this little shop with me if you did don't forget to give this video a thumbs up it really does help to support the channel and don't forget to leave a comment below letting me know what kind of videos you want to see from me if you're ready for fall decorating maybe you're not ready for fall decorating if there's a favorite type of video that you like that i do let me know below i hope you all have a fabulous week and i will see you all in my next video bye